all in a very tight game. Yes, a uh, very tight game. Uh, I think we, we knew it was going to be like that. Um, obviously, they were, they were good for. Uh, but uh, I thought I thought we edged it in the end. It wasn't. I wouldn't say it was the best of games, uh, but in the end we got the job done. The boss was saying the, the pitch is a bit tricky today. Perhaps not the best for you. No, uh, yeah, it's not the best at the moment. But you know, we, we've got to deal with it. Um, so you know, obviously sometimes we can't get the da uh, get the ball down and play as much as we probably like. But um, you know, it's not always going to be that case. It's going to be uh, you know long balls, uh, and it's you know how they uh, how they uh, play against us. So yeah, it was a tough game, um, but just really important to get a few points. In the right place at the right time, but uh, on the end of one of quite a number of very good passes from Adam Buxton today. Yeah, uh, I thought I thought everyone done well today. Uh, but great vision from from Buckhill, just bent it around him. Uh, I probably missed it that first, just um, and then went through uh, the keeper, and then luckily a nice little tap into him. So uh, yeah, happy with that. But more point than three points. Ninth goal of the season, so getting close to the double figures. Yeah, yeah, uh, just got to keep going. Um, if I can help, I can help. Um, some of the winning games and uh, keeping the momentum, that's the, that's the most important thing. I mean, nine in, the road, in a row at home now, I mean, that's quite amazing, isn't it? Nine, nine consecutive home wins. Yeah, it's, uh, it's massive. Um, and I think we're, we're proving away from home as well, which is you know, much needed. Uh, but yeah, when we, when we play at home, you know, you've got all the fans. Um, yeah, we're feeling really confident at home, so we just need to continue that uh, Tuesday. Yeah, second in the league now, four points behind Macclesfield. As I say, they come here on Tuesday night. Is it, how much of a game is that you're looking forward to now? Yeah, looking forward to it. You know, I'm looking forward to every game now to the end of the season. Looking forward to seeing what, what, will, what will happen. Uh, but we just need to keep doing what we're doing. Uh, keep, keep being confident, keep playing like we're doing. And, uh, yeah, look. What particular strengths have Macclesfield got? Because you, you've had a number of tussles with them over the last couple of seasons. Yeah, well, uh, I think it changes all the time because of you know players, you know, He's keeping having to bring different players in each season. Uh, but yeah, fair play to him, they're doing you know, they're doing well at the moment. Uh, but come Tuesday, you know, it's down to business and we'll have to do the job on it. Yeah, you mentioned the, the manager, I mean, very experienced at this level. I mean, do they play in his mould? Is it a typical Jonathan side? Yeah, I, th I think uh, I think they've all moulded uh, molded well. Uh, playing like they wanted to play, but uh, I think the most important thing is, you know, to do our jobs and if we match them up match any team up and do our jobs, you know, we can beat anyone. Apart from the eight minutes that Matt was telling me about, you were top of the league at Lake Orient last week, uh, you haven't been top of the table at the end of the game yet this season. You can't do it on Tuesday, but you're getting closer and closer to it. Yeah, look, it doesn't matter, we just need to keep winning games, you know, it's out of our control with all the other games, uh, as long as we keep winning, picking, picking up points and momentum, and then uh, hopefully come, um, come the end of the season we'll be there. The two, two of the most highest scoring teams in the league playing today, and in the end, just one goal, one mistake has settled it. That's a bit strange. No, yeah, very strange. Uh, I, think, I think they got 58, I think I read in the programme there. So, yeah, fair play to uh, you know, mid, uh, midfield boys and the defence. Obviously, the attack is it starts from them. Um, yeah, we, I thought we dealt with them pretty well. Obviously, had a few chances. Um, but obviously, Scotty, Scotty came to help. But I thought, all round, I thought it's a solid. Solid performance, probably not the best of games, but you know we got the job done. Yeah, got a lot of satisfaction sometimes about coming through a game like that, you know, and you, yeah. you've seen it through right to the end and made sure you've got the three points. Yeah, I think they're very important. You know, when you're not playing the best or not quite, quite happening, uh, as long as you get the, as long as you get the three points, of nothing else is that bothered. <laughs> Uh, and so the second half of the season, I mean, I think you've scored since five, but I mean, the goals have started to come in, whereas early in the season that wasn't the case. What's changed from your perspective? Why, why are this league only incoming? Um, not sure. I've uh, been trying all season. Obviously, when I wasn't scoring, I was getting chances. Um, it was just coming down to it and putting it in the back of the net. Um, so, yeah, I'd like to say I'm taking a bit more. Uh, but hey, it's, not, it's not just me, you know, we've got a full team who we expect to. Uh, score when we get the chances and uh, hopefully that will uh, continue. Now you're so close to the top of the league, you're, you're playing Macclesfield, four points to the gap, I mean what's the mentality, is it we must win, is it we <coughs> must make sure we don't lose, I mean, or, or is it the same as it would be in a tight game like today? No, uh, we know it's going to be a tight game, um, you know, we're both up there, but we just need to keep continue what we're doing, I think we're doing really well at the moment, picking up uh, nice momentum, and we just need to keep going, keep, keep, keep playing like that. Playing, uh, keep defending like defending, 
and uh, yeah, we shouldn't be too far off it. Yeah, the players coming back after injury, keeping the pressure on you to make sure you play well enough to stay in the side as well. You know, Ben Sullet, James Wallace, Jake yeah. Kirby's back in the squad as well. You know, you, you, you've really got to look over your shoulder. Yeah, we've got a fantastic squad, uh, full of great characters, uh, a lot of experience in there. So yeah, I think everyone's on the toes. Um, you know, everyone wants the same thing, so uh, I think it's driving us all on. And just finally, your, your role towards the end of last season, you were playing a little bit more sort of behind strikers <coughs> and more central. You're playing a little bit wider over the last uh, couple of months or so. Uh, how does that suit you? Uh, <laughs> uh, obviously, change of formation. Um, but you know, Gaffer, Gaffer decides that, and uh, you know what, whatever formation uh, he plays and what position I play, you know, I'll always try and give my all and uh, my best with the team. With the so with the fun. top four playing each other today, did you feel any extra pressure to get a result knowing <coughs> you could go above them? Uh, no, uh, I, don't think, I don't think so. I feel, uh, you know, we're feeling pretty confident <coughs> at home. Um, you know, there's another great, great crowd, great uh, voices, and uh, yeah, we just, I think we just went straight into it. To be fair, and, you know, I think we felt felt good. With 12 <coughs> games left to go in the season, how big a gap is that four points that Macclesfield have got? I'll let you just decide that. Um, you know, our jobs is just to keep winning games. Um, you know, we can't control. You know, the other results. We just need to keep keep going. Uh, similar to last year. You know, we've got to let other teams try and uh, you know mess up in a in a way. And as as long as we're winning, we should uh, should catch them up. And you've been here 18 months now. Night games here under the lights are always something special. What's yeah. Tuesday going to be like? Yeah, it should be a should be a great game. Uh, I probably expect it to be another tight game. Uh, but like I said before, as long as we're all doing our jobs and we match it, you know, we should come out on top. How much influence do you think the crowd's going to have in a tight game like today and as you expect on Tuesday, especially at Brenton Park? Oh yeah, it's massive, you know, when you, you know, how many was here today? Probably 5,000 was it? Five and a half. Five and a half, there we go, uh, again. So, uh, yeah, they're massive for us, you know, they are actually the 12th 12th man, you know, the voice really does get behind us, so uh, yeah, we just... I think we all, us players and the fans and everyone at the club just need to stick together there for these last uh, remaining games and uh, yeah, give it a good go. And knowing that you fell short of the final hurdle last season, how is the confidence in the camp at the moment? No, fine. Like, you know, last season I think it's a big learning curve. Um, um, yeah, so we just look. That's behind us now. Uh, we know that that hurt. That hurt everyone, and we just need to make sure we learn from it and obviously come out on top this year. Well done today. Cheers.